We've now achieved um, a new couple of chapters. As I said um, previously, we have had our first heist, which was against a guy called Kamoshida, and then we took care of saving or stealing the heart of another person, Mr. Madarame. We already have an idea of our next target. It's surely going to be a bad guy. We're going to try to turn him around and make him, uh, make him, you know confess his sins and uh, atone for his sins but let's have a look at what happened here with the story let's see how this is recapped it at shujin rumors circulate that volleyball coach sugu kamoshida is having an affair with student and takamaki i think japanese people are very much into gossips that was saying stuff like that anyway um however his past success leads teachers turn a, a blind eye okay after finding themselves in a strange castle Eugene and andrea are threatened by a king who looks mysteriously like kamoshida they later learn this is a shadow within his palace where the dark thoughts of distorted minds are brought to life Yuji is suspicious Yuji is suspicious regarding Kamoshida's abuse and sexual harassments are confirmed. Oh wow. Once a star runner on the track team, Yuji experienced Kamoshida's cruelty first and wants to use what he saw in the palace to expose Kamoshida, but tragedy strikes. Unable to cope with Kamoshida's sexual harassment, Shio Suzui, Han's best friend, leaps from the school roof, leading Han to decide that enough is enough. Yeah, that is an attempted suicide. That's correct. Organa then reveals they can change Kamoshida's heart by stealing the source of his desires, his treasure. And so they return to the palace once again. The group defeats the palace ruler and steals his heart, his treasure, triggering, uh, triggering the real Kamoshida to publicly apologize and turn himself into the authorities. Realizing that they can use their powers to help those who otherwise cannot help themselves, Andrea and the others agree to continue their work as phantom thieves. Although they have some concerns about the future, the firm resolve pushes them forward into their lives as the front boots, the phantom thieves of justice. That's correct, the front boots is the term that I have chosen as the phantom thieves official name. Uh, yeah, I could have chosen a better name, but you know. I was pressed for time. Um, it's not even true, but you know. Let's have a look at Mother Rama's story, which is the most recent one, and we you can check that out in previous streams, in the previous videos. One day, the Phantom Thieves meet Yusuke Kitagawa, who claims to be the pupil of the great Japanese arti artist Ichiro Yusai Mother Rama. Upon discovering Madarama as a palace of his own, they try to use Yusuke's obsession with Anne to learn more. Yusuke, however, vehemently defends Madarama. The Phantom Thieves debate whether it's right to change your heart if the victim doesn't ask for it. Yeah, I remember that bit. Though the help of Yuki Mishima, the Phantom Thieves meet Nakanoara, one of Madarama's former students. After learning about what Madarama is really doing to Yusuke, Andrea and the others decide they cannot let Madarama get away with it. While searching Madarama's place for his treasure, Yusuke unexpectedly shows up in the palace and begins to accept it through the pal. Yeah, he began to accept it through the about this teacher and the fact that it was a scumbag. Upon confronting Mother Rama's shadow, Yusuke, reject, Yusuke rejects his mentor, awakens his persona and helps the Phantom Thieves change Mother Rama's heart. Afterward, Mother Rama goes on TV and apologizes. This high-profile change of heart causes the public to believe the Phantom Thieves exist. All the while, a perceptive young man and equally sharp young woman watches the news speculate about the Phantom Thieves. And other things you guys should know that haven't been put here is that when we were in the palace, somebody else was there. It seems that somebody else was there, but we don't know who. And another thing you should know is that Mother Ame was also responsible of the demise of Yusuke's mother. And um, 
and that's yeah that's a little backstory that came up in my last stream we are ready to go back to the game i don't quite know what else i need to be doing the objective at the moment says prepare for our next operation it's wednesday evening perhaps i can do stuff yeah maybe i can go out aren't you tired we did enough for today i believe we did let's watch the tv on Discovery Town Detectives, we talk about Motomachi Chinatown, a popular attraction for foodies. So many Chinese restaurants. Good smells are coming from all over this place. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. There is a Chinese neighborhood with Chinese food that is apparently very good. I should try to go to the ramen shop in Okibu, Ogikubo. Ogikubo? Ogikubo? I don't know. With someone. I should finish up. And we're ready for sleeping. Hey! Hey! Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I hope you're well. Big enough for a few days. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Oh yeah, today I'm going with the school to this TV show. Now I remember, we're going to the studio to watch how a TV show is being shot. And I wonder what will happen then. Perhaps we will meet our next target. It's usually the cliche in these cases. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. It's interesting. Huh? Oh, then you'd better keep listening, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Get any more obvious? <laughs> I know. You're right. You're right, Anne. <sighs> so sleepy. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. How much longer does this go? It is indeed quite obvious. I swear, I'm not gonna. They're really going through the basics. Oh. What's going on? I can't stand all this. No hmm, a rude person. Let's fuck him up and change his heart. Hey. There you go. Ryuji's on it already. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? Whoa. They're already scouting her. You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? 
You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Hmm. Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. <laughs> yeah, another thing you guys should know is that we'll talk about it later. I'm so pissed off. Are we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. Going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Why going to the bathroom would make you feel better? What sort of reliefs? Relief what you're seeking. I really don't like how UG is. I keep saying this all the time, but he's boring and complaining, whiny and whingy. Quiet down. There you go, she's nicer. I get how you feel though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow too. No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you didn't. Yep. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the people. Yeah, better. The new character. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? He must be important. And it looks a bit like a rock and roller. It looks a bit like Dave Crow from Foo Fighters. When he was younger. Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies, I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking Is he? Is he self-inviting? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. Ooh, he almost invited himself there. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. 
was never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Cool, new location, guys. Suidobashi, a college town full of fun places such as an all-weather stadium. Ultimate urban leisure. Enjoy the arcades, spas, theme parks and more. You'll become a date expert. Alright. Suidobashi Dome Town. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? <laughs> Another important thing to know that happened in a previous video is that <sighs> is that one of the teachers is actually doing a second job and as a second job she works as a maid. Unique, my man, how's it going man? Welcome, good to see you. Are you okay? Good to see you man, I hope you are well. And I hope everything's going well in the US and that you're keeping well. Dude, it's not fair using your cat to this an excuse. Only at times like this. Hey! Anyway, you guys feeling hungry? How about some camp pancakes? Yeah, we went there for the pancakes. Let's go home, we have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Okay. I'm good, thank you very much. Thank you, Unique. Thanks a lot for stopping by, even for just a minute. It's appreciated. Uh, I've been fine. I've been playing a bit of Persona 5 here. And I'm saving all the videos in a playlist here in YouTube. But I haven't been streaming a lot. Not as much as I would like to, anyway. I hope you're keeping well. Well, try not to stand out too much. That's what Ryuji is for. Okay, what do we do tonight? Can we watch a video, perhaps? The artist sons and change of art came as a huge surprise to the art world. It is still unclear what led mad Mr. Madarama to confess his crimes. It's just like with Mr. Kamoshida, right? It doesn't realize what happened to him. I can't do much. You're going to a TV tomorrow, station. Blah, 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 blah. What about the plant? It looks pretty healthy, okay. It's fine. Can I do anything? Okay. Only thing I can do is to go to bed. Well then. The popularity uh, as Verizon, we have 16% popularity now. As you can see on the bottom right of the screen, that's actually quite a bit more than before. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Is that the guy from yesterday? Yeah, the guy from yesterday. Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Hottest meet and greet. Is that the official name of the game? After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. A high school detective? Oh, like a character similar to the one that was in Persona 4. Um, I think her name was Naoto. And she was some sort of female young detective. And perhaps this character will go along the lines of that. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi kun. Your popularity is. Shut up, audience. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along. We've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarama. Oh, what a coincidence. 
There it is! All of this Phantom Thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? Well, I mean, if the phantom thieves is something that they're openly discussing to, on television, surely, you know, we are kind of famous now. If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real... ...I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Uh-oh. Danger. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. Yeah, that's the whole point. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. It's a bit ironic that he's doing the very same thing by judging the Phantom Thieves. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. Oh my god, is that something that people actually say to TV guests? I don't know. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is it gonna do the math and realize that the Phantom Thieves are part of the audience and that is why the percentages are? I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Uh-oh. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? Oh my god, this is my one shot at, at celebrity. I don't want to throw a bad rap. And I don't want to disrespect the cops. I want to say they're necessary, but I also want to support them. I want to say that they're justice itself. Okay, I'm just gonna be... Sort of... No, okay. Oh man, should I just go out like that and say that they're justice itself? I'm just gonna say they're necessary, so I would not draw too many... Too much attention on me. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Ah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. Hmm. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you for example, your friend next to you. If his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I cannot reveal that they only target criminals because I don't think that is public knowledge yet. And if I said something like this, I would draw attention on me by knowing too much. 
and sharing too much. Uh, I can say not at all, but not elaborate. I could say, what would you think? Yeah, let me just go vague and say, what would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. Oh, wow. You know, you're absolutely right. It's not absolutely right, it's just building up accusations out of thin air. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Why is the audience so loud when they do these little noises? Anyway. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Shut up, Ryuji. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's... Uh-oh. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Hmm, this guy, he's a piece of work. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Hmm. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do is the adults say. Hmm. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? I don't know. If the opportunity arises, seems to be the best option here. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujin are truly quite interesting. I don't like this guy. I look forward to seeing you again. Too nicey nicey. Well then? Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. There's probably a lot we can learn from him though. It seems that Detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. And we're back to the interrogation room. We're back to the future or the present. I don't know. But we're about to learn a bit more. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. So he, she's not conjuring. That the Phantom Thieves are connected to some people in the police forces. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art. Oh. Thou so we're gonna end up thou. having information through this guy? Wings of oh my. Chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, 
I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Cool, we have a new arcana connection. Is the arcana of the justice type, rank one, and the confidant of this arcana is Gogo, that's his name. Gogo Akechi. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a case? It was. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Oof. Ryuji is always so stubborn. Really likes himself quite a bit. What a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. That catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had to say it on Live TV too. Don't be sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Oh, that's a nice thing. What was that? What was... What was... What was what, 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 what Akechi-kun... Uh, what was what Akechi-kun said actually wrong? What's what Akechi-kun... Why is this, is this broken English or is it me? I feel like he had a point. Why you gotta bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We're phantom thieves, Anne. I doubt everyone will forgive us for what we did to Matarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kawashida too, we weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but what do you think? Are we being selfish? Akechi is cool, he's just trying to poke people. And we're not being selfish, we're not. We're being helpful. I guess I can't really think of any other way. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. And with the unanimous decision rule in place, a doubt will lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting Phantom Thieves. You watch, Akechi. Someday you're totally gonna see who's right. That Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on me. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Yeah, I guess we can get some info from him. God, I'm furious. You heard what Akechi said? How oh, they already declared the Phantom Thieves are criminals. As the administrator of the Phantom Office here on another website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm going to show Akechi how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey in question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he all of people getting angry about this? Anyway, it means the serving the Phantom Thieves on the fan side, right? Okay, cool. Hey. Are we gonna go out? Cool, it's evening, we got time to go out. Let's see if we can entertain ourselves in some in any activity here. This guy's always drunk. Okay. What are these people doing? Why is he on his knees in front of you? Whatever you're doing, stop. Okay, you know the batting cages here? I've never been there. I wonder if I'm supposed to go there and, and actually do anything. Oh, another thing I haven't tried is the... What's his name? The... Let me try to go to the clinic. Perhaps I can buy some new medicine now. I 
I feel I need bold guts in order to take that medicine. Yeah, let me see if I can buy anything. Please head to the exam room. Okay, which one? I'm gonna have to buy a few more of these. Although the price is really steep, I'm gonna buy just two. Of oh, whoa. I'm gonna buy just two of them. Here you go. Be sure to take them according to the recommended daily dosage. Just kidding. But thanks. Take care. Okay. Fine, we bought some healing items. What would you like? So that's what happened. Nothing there. Anything to do in Shibuya? What does it mean when they say pass? Oh, look at that. The young person's heaven. This, ma this mayor train hub. This major train hub houses a variety of stores. EY speech giving man Mishima. Oh, look, I can see that. Free pass. What does it mean, free pass? Oh, probably I can go there without paying. That's what it means. It seems that if I go there, there will be Mishima that I can interact with. So let's try to do that. Where's Mishima though? Perhaps the Central Street? Oh, you see, he's there. First, let me check out the shop though. Oh man! Oh my god. Again, I've returned the DVD with a very late, <laughs> way past the return date. If you miss the due date again, you will need to pay the fee. Please try to return DVDs on time. Whoa. All right, we don't have to pay the fine. Try to be a little more careful next time. I want to rent a DVD. I never have time to to watch these things though. Anyway, let me spend time with Mishima, why don't we? But first, let me check out this guy. Foreign Barker. Hey ho, I'm gonna steal your arts. No thanks. Oops, sorry, I need to stop trying to speak Japanese the same way I speak English. Things have been so down Shibuya lately. I keep hearing about all these gangs. Guess Japan's not so different from my own country. Right. Karaoke? Is it karaoke here? Well, I don't care. Let's see what Mijima want to say. Phantom Seeds have finally made the big primetime debut. Info started pouring into the fan site too. I'm gonna be a busy bee. So you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. You need to prepare for your next move, right? I've been doing the same actually. Preparing for what you ask? I could tell you if you have the time. Well, it seems that if I do spend time, we will grow our bond with Mishima. And he is an important member 
to have around so you know what let's let's do it let's spend time with him because last time I hanged out with him he gave me a pretty good uh, pretty good skill so let's go ahead and spend more time with him you really want to know huh I don't think you like it on, let's get going um so how go the activities I don't like this broken English anyway Actually, I already know the fan site has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. This book here is all about the latest security techniques and this is a model gun. It costs me a lot of money. Is it for me? Well, not exactly, I just told you how expensive it was, didn't I? Apparently, they had to be completely out of production because people kept mistaking it for a real gun. It was suggested to me by this military buff from the fandom. I figured I could use a bit of security since I'm the sole admin of the fandom site. Yeah, I mean, you guys are getting really popular. There's been a lot more info on the forum lately, too. Some of the stuff up there is pretty scary, so it seems like it might need a little protection. Don't do anything stupid. This is just for self-defense. I mean, people might come after me if they found out I was working with Phantom Thieves, right? But as I was saying, we've had a pretty massive influx of new posts on the farm lately. One of them seems particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. But if we want to really make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. Leave this to me, though. I'll get all the info we need, even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. He is actually motivated. I don't like how everybody is so keen on making something out of the Phantom Thieves except myself. So there is a new ability, yeah. Increases experience earned by backup members. Oh, that's good. All right. Mishima's Desperation. Do I look any different to you? People keep telling me it seems like I've changed recently. I guess I can hide my newfound confidence, huh? My true word will finally... Well, 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 if it isn't Mishima. Oh, a bunch of bullies. Just when you were talking about your self-confidence. Long time no see, Zero. You know, I've been sitting just over there the whole time, but we didn't even notice you sitting here. You're exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. You haven't changed your cell number, have you? Hmm? No, I haven't. Damn, why didn't you come to our hangout? All our ex-classmates were there, you know? Oh wait, nobody even remembered you existent. Can't invite a guy you can't remember, right? Right. Such a lame bunch of bullies. They can't even do proper bullying. You know that one guy in every class winds up being the butt of all the jokes? That guy was me. I've changed now. I'm not going to be that boring guy anymore. Being boring is not a crime. I am super boring and I love it. Sorry. Anyway, it's getting late. We should probably head home. Well, see you later. Alligator. Were you watching the broadcast? So the Phantom Thieves were the bad guys? I guess now that you mention it, I felt that way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. Yeah, opinions, opinions, opinions. And we, this is already the 11th of June. And there's so many things I need to do in terms of activities in the game. 
Did you catch any of the students detective on television yesterday? Oh, that's actual. It was simply dreadful. How can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony. There's simply no way that phantom thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious, uh, my precious children all think they are real, and worse, that this detective is amazing. Children are far too impression impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. <sighs> Looks like people still don't think we're real. Yeah, but that's the way it should be. I'm so I don't like my friends in this game, they're all too focused on becoming popular. I can't believe a high school and moonlight is a detective. It's just like the detective prince. Moonlighting is probably working at night. That's what it means, I think. It's Martin and Anson. It's almost too perfect. Too cool. the front row seats, I could practically reach out and touch a kitchen. He was really working that uniform and without seeming like a snob. He's natural at public speaking. Okay, the girls are just drooling all over him. He wants his last high school memory to be captured in the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, hard is that's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular that they're going to air it again tonight. Oh wow. Really, the big shot. This is typical. It's such a cliche. I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about this Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Why someone would steal something like a heart, which can't be turned into money, is beyond me. If I were Phantom Thieves, I wouldn't go after hearts or works of art. I would go after gold. You know what? I would do the same. It's a bit silly now, this part of the game, where everybody all of a sudden is talking about the Phantom Thieves when, you know, just a little while ago, it was such a niche thing. The value of gold has been high since ancient times, and there has never been a more stable resource. Now then. Hmm, that's true. Can you imagine how much gold has been excavated by humanity over the course of history? I don't know, three Olympic sized pools. That's too little. Three great pyramids of Giza, Giza. Three Lake Biwas. I could look it up online by checking the network and let's do it. Yeah, seems to be a problem with it. So we won't know. But. But. Mm, let's go with the Pyramid of Giza. No. Three pools? Only? Isn't that too little? Surprisingly little, don't you think? That rarity is what drives its value. teacher mean to pick someone else? That definitely people uh, would have gotten that right. Yeah, it's not easy, okay? Incidentally, they say that 16% of the world's gold is in Japan. Was it first thought that the, the Tokugawa clans buried gold? It's actually in discarded home electronics. Huh? In discarded home electronics? In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's art. What did you say? Hmm. You can't measure the value of a treasure with money. Yeah, no, I kind of agree with her. Why do we steal hearts? Man, detective from yesterday really Ryuji, please, just kind of why are you such a little man that pisses himself off over such a little thing? see him do it then if someone else could help him we wouldn't be doing stuff as the phantom thieves to start with 
Well done, then. You're being way too yep. loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Oh. Give me some. Give me some. Sorry. Just uh -oh. the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. Yeah, both of you. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? I don't know. We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't That's know? right. You know what? I'm starting to think that that guy who infiltrated the palace is in reality Akechi. Well, that's just beyond the law, right? You can't just take pictures. You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, good to hell, Makoto. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. How could you just take a picture like that? Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Except you're wrong. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Yeah, you tell her, Anne. Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Hmm. Hyuji, please shut up. How did you bring the, the phantom thieves into the conversation now? Yuji, you're gonna give us away. Shut up. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target too. Okay, this little spat seemed to have reinvigorated the guys and they've rekindled a, their motivation. Only I could. What happened? Is she breaking? If only I could what? Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. Yep. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. That's right. This is what is happening to a lot of people in real life too. Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Yep. Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? There is a strong parallel between the Phantom Thieves and the Anonymous group. This whole rising spirit of, you know, being rebels 
and trying to target big, big targets and trying to, you know, make the wrongs right, you know. I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents like you. What? What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. <laughs> but I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? <laughs> what about what about the manga cafe? Actually, it's not a bad idea. Just sleep here. Yeah, sleep here in the train station. No, but what about the manga cafe? I don't have the money. Then why'd you leave? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Yeah, Morgana, you're not even... That's not even your place. You're just inviting people, strangers, into other people's house. That's not what people do. Why are you the one calling yeah. the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? Oh my god. We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah, about that. Looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it though. People refer to that as retro. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? Oh my god, he's shocked. This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really, he's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. That was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. Ugh. Ugh. It's so bitter. Ugh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. What did you expect? <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. 
Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Mm hmm? Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Thank you. Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, we could go through Mishima's site, but I guess we will only find little requests. What about the news? Yeah, perhaps the news. Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Yeah, that's right, but by hiding behind the police, we will not attract attention. Wouldn't that be better? Damn it. I'm never gonna prove it catch you wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. Cool. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? You guys take it away. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. Yeah. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. All right, cool. Okay. 
Let's borrow the pot first. You're all having hot pot for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Anne, right? She's a nice girl. Despite her flashy looks. Ah, oh, don't be mean. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it would be nice. It'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Where did I put that pot? Try looking around. Okay. We discussed the word going around town to help keep you in the know. Today we covered the front boots. They have high appeal among young people and are said to be involved in Mr. Madarama's confession. The madness are unknown, and many are voicing concern that this group may be dangerous, but it seems a lot of people have started talking about the Phantom Thieves. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I wonder if there are suitable pots in there. Anything? Taking forever. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. I didn't know that term. Oh, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trips, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Be careful with the fire. Yeah, I will try. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment uh -oh. of our show. Oh my god, this is the Chu sister, the prosecutor, the school assistant, and we're now linking these two characters to the police guy. Well, to the um, new young investigator which we are connected to. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? Hmm. She told they lack sodium. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. That's right. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. But you are judging them. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Hmm. She seems to be on our side. Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. 
What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Hmm. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride. What? <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even Udon. Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other. That's right. We're learning a bit more about the backstory. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. Oh. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. But you did well. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <sighs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than that. Yeah. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! How oh, fantastic. We have the possibility to see a bit more about the this uh, situation and what happened back then this guy seems to be the person that we also met in front of an elevator in Tokyo and so he seems to be a politician and I am sure we will meet him again perhaps being one of our future targets and we can now learn a bit more about what happened in the case of this aggression in this episode that had to change the protagonist's life. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. 
Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Yeah, this is bullshit. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. I can't believe things could go this way. I can't believe I got, you know, it was a sword uh, against mine and... And nothing to defend myself with? God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that! The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? Yeah, I want to find him. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. Hmm. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. Oh. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Oh. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. Yeah. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. Mm. If you don't get stronger, Investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. 
All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. That's right. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Okay, so this evening the guys have spent their time together and they have strengthened their resolve, it seems. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Aww. Bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot though. <laughs> Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Oof. Uh, she's. Nice, I'm not sure. She's a great teammate. Well, I'm not sure. She's a girl, so. <laughs> you know. Um. Should I act like I care for her? But I don't really. Possibly because I don't care for any of them, but I'm not sure. She seems she'd be the possessive type. You know, the kind that does bot checks on your texts and Oh my god. I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless. That's right. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Still. Ah, it's freaking hot! <laughs> How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? Oh my god, why do you have to attack him like that? anymore anyways let's meet up again early next week I'll uh, I'll contact everyone and so we had a nice evening at the bathhouse it was my first time there let me talk to you Skem. did something happen 
I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. I'm going to protect my sleeping beauty, no matter what it takes. But I'm still awake. Whoa! Talking about you. Don't eavesdrop on me. Okay, it seems that we are a bit tired, so I'm gonna save. Time to sleep. Wow. You needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Hmm, okay. Dream? Uh oh, there's a dream, guys. Oh no, not a dream, but we are traveling to the Velvet Room. We are transcending, let's say. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society, in other words, your picaresque, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Oh, a new ability for us. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like my bond with Higer is growing deeper. Alright, that is fine. That's great. Awesome. This is awesome. This is so good. Real good. I have now increased the persona slots to 10. That means that I can keep fighting and keep collecting personas up to 10 of them and carry up to 10 of them with me at any one time. So having 10 personas, 10 different personas with you, that really, you know, gives you a huge variety of attacks and defenses um, combinations. And that is really a huge thing. All right. Super stock. I don't think we'll even get more than that because 10 is already quite a lot in terms of slots available for you. It's almost time. Really excited about that anyway. And it's Sunday. I wonder what we can do. There's a lot of activities to be done, but... What's going on? You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? Uh-oh, I can choose at school. Tyson's younger sister, correct? Oh yes, Akechi is a investigator, so he probably knows about uh, the fact that she is uh, the younger sister of the prosecutor, Miss Sai. May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Hmm. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? 
Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. <laughs> so the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai San my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Poor Makoto, I start to feel for her. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. Oh. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. So you are such a nice guy. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest. Aww. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, uh, former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. Hmm. I should probably get going. That was a very nice and mature conversation right there. You don't see this very often in games, but... Persona games are different. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Oh, wow, we left it there? Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake. Where is Yusuke? Yeah. He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. Finally up. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayui. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. 
and this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but their expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it though. Hey! Go on and get dressed. I opened the shop hours ago, so I'll go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for living so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted the Sayui to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but this is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I can't thank you enough. I still believe porridge is the best way to end the hot pot. Okay. Fantastic. A lot of things I want to do, particularly I would like to finish watching the DVDs in the in the game and um, perhaps keep working on uh, my social skills so Yusuke went home well I guess that's for the best yo I just checked the fan side there's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the phantom thief's name sounds pretty lame to me Oh, I said that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post in there. My brother suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said they started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are even in Shibuya. There are, uh, yeah, there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Yeah, let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. <laughs> no way, the police would talk their nabbles if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if the target restaurants. Huh, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? There's no way we'll go after a shop like this. Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. I think that's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you would kick down the LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I'd forgotten. You'd forgotten something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, we lack our info. Sorry, at the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more possible information wherever possible, yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff too. Okay, good. Stuck to the cat. Hey! I can't believe he just went home without telling us. Although the tac tactlessness is very Yusuke. I haven't decided yet. And in fact, guys, I will decide the next time how to spend the Sunday. What I'm going to do now is to thank you again for watching. Thank you for leaving a thumbs up and for hanging out with me. I will be streaming again tomorrow or the day after or anyway in the coming days. Um, but possibly I will stream every day when I can. And then thank you all guys for watching. And thank you very much for your company. I hope you are enjoying the game as much as I am. And good night.